Hi, and welcome to Securely Safety Consult Filter Deployment for Chromebooks. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how the Securely Chrome extension is deployed, some best practices for your domain that will improve the success of your deployment, and how the extension works. In front of you today, I have a Securely G Suite console with admin access pulled up, and I'm going to be showing you the various places that you're going to navigate to deploy the extension. By now, you should have received an instruction documentation email from the Securely support team with information on how the extension is deployed and the unlock codes for the extension. The very first step of this process is to deploy the certificate. The Securely certificate allows SSL decryption. Under devices and networks, you'll find the area where we can deploy the Securely cert. Securely suggests that you deploy this at the top level of your domain as you can ensure that everyone's going to receive it regardless of whether they're on a Chromebook and it will only be affected by the users that have the Securely extension. You'll create the cert, upload the cert, any generic name like Securely cert is fine, and you'll be checking and marking the Chromebook option, clicking add. It should also be noted that all of the deployment documentation information such as the certificates and instructions can be found on Securely's knowledge base, support.securely.com. As you can see, I've got the G Suite admin and Chromebooks certificate highlighted, which is what you would use in the example provided here. The Securely extension filters locally on the device by looking at the waterfall of traffic that's flowing across the Chrome browser. It is possible for Securely to look at this traffic, inspect that it is needed, and perform a block or log, which flows to our AWS architecture and is then available in your Securely Safety Console UI. Extension deployment is also incredibly easy. If you'll navigate to the Devices, Chrome section, and Apps and Extensions, it's now time to actually deploy the Securely Chrome extension. It should be noted that this extension is also user-based, which means it is not deployed directly to devices. In your Google G Suite OU structure, you can simply click a particular OU, find your targeted students group, and then we can deploy the extension by clicking the yellow plus at the bottom right-hand side of your screen, the grid pattern, and then providing that extension ID and custom URL that Securely Support has provided in your documentation. Now let's also talk about, once it's deployed, how lo you lock it down. And this will also include the best practices that I talked about earlier. Once the extension is deployed and saved, it will appear like this. And you'll want to make sure that you force install this so that users cannot remove it. Once this deployed, this takes approximately a minute or two to show up across all devices in the particular OU that you've deployed. Now let's also talk about some other areas that you can search for settings that will make your deployment more successful. If I proceed to Chrome, user and browser settings, it's also possible to search and lock a few settings and lock them down. Things like proxy mode. If this is not configured, it is possible for a user to set their own proxy. So we would advise to lock this particular feature down. Developer tools. This will allow the user to manipulate some functions of the browser, which may make it possible for the user to crash the extension or any other extension that you may have deployed. So it's wise to limit the use of this to your filtered users. Incognito mode. Incognito mode removes all extensions, so it will probably be important to block this from users that you are doing filtered. Task manager. Just like Windows, Chrome OS has a task manager that you can use to block and kill specific extensions that may be running in the background. It would be advised that you also lock this from users that you're applying filter to so they can't stop the extension from working. Last but not least, there are some new application controls that Google has provided. These application settings page allow you to block particular extensions that are labeled inside the securely or I'm sorry, the Google Play Store. Some of these are counterproductive to your securely deployment, such as the geolocation one 
and maybe the set proxy or certificate provider options. You'll probably want to avoid these. And if you want to check with securely to see which ones you need to enable or not enable, you can always reach out to support. Thanks, and this has been the Filter Deployment Chrome Extension video.